It's not our job to babysit people's insecurities. You're not obligated to uh, slow down, to downsize yourself, to um, shrink yourself so that people can meet you at a level they feel comfortable with. And I don't mean that we can't adapt and we can't make adjustments in social situations for the sake of um, serving people in whatever we do. But I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, when we, when we know that we are changing who we are um, and it violates something in us to do it because we know that we are taking on board the insecurities of people around us who know that if we shine to our normal brightness, they will feel threatened and unstable and irritated by us. So we kind of dial it all down. And the longer you do that, the more you'll get used to it and the more you will um, violate something in yourself and what I've learned about babysitting people's insecurities, to use that metaphor, is that if the insecurities are the babies that you're sitting for, um, they've been dropped off permanently. The owners of the insecurities that you are taking on board are not coming back for them. <laughs> they want it to be a permanent arrangement, so they want you to babysit their insecurities about life but they attach them to you and blame you for bringing them out of them they're not they're not coming back for these insecurities they're leaving them permanently permanently in the relationship energy between you so that's why i said don't babysit people's insecurities because when you give the impression that you're willing for them to drop those kids off at your house to um hand them over to you then they expect you to keep them and look after them so that when you're next in their relational space, they expect that energy of their insecurity to be factored in um, in how you relate to them. So stop going back to old versions of you just to fit in with these people who um, need to grow. And your best gift to them is not... Um, downsizing to fit in with them but to be in who you are supposed to be in front of them and let that be its own challenge provocation disruption to encourage them to do the same thing with their lives <laughs> I've done too much of that in my life so don't do it love you guys